Hello and welcome, it's Ruth here at artfulstampin.co.uk This is a recording but I'm going to try and talk to you guys as if I'm live because uh, this is, I'm filming this on Saturday night and it is my daughter's birthday tomorrow and I haven't made her a card yet ah! <laughs> So I thought I could make a card and film it and um, we're planning to um, have a bit of a kind of chilled out a bit of a different week this week because uh, my kids are on holiday my husband's on holiday and so we're going to be busy doing various things so I've recorded this video ahead of time just in case <laughs> well I say just in case basically because we're going to be out and about doing stuff so I might not be able to do a video so I've got the gorgeous ombre glimmer paper here that I am about to cut out some really cool butterflies from the butterfly set that goes with the Butterfly Brilliance stamp set. And my plan is to maybe cut, a, uh, sorry, to stamp a one sheet wonder and then maybe decorate it with some of these pretty butterflies. And I like the fact, because we've got the ombre, that we're going to get various different kind of looks um, from this piece of cardstock. So hello and welcome. If you're just joining, hello, hello. Um, just a reminder, I'm not live, but um, you, I'll set this as a premiere so you can chat to each other in the chat, check in with each other see how you're all doing you never know i might be in there too if i can make it and um yeah do do welcome everybody if you're new here to my channel normally i do a live but as i said i'm going to be a bit busy this week so i thought i would do some videos ahead of time for you so i'm just lining up oh maybe three butterflies because I've learnt with this little mini cut and emboss machine that it doesn't like being too overloaded. It does not cope very well. So it's not a good idea to try and cut a whole plate of dies out in one go. It does not like it. Now it is a little bit, it can be a little bit tough to run it through. Um, so you do need to be standing really to hold it. I shouldn't have put the grid paper down because I can feel it all wobbling but never mind I've done it now. So I like to just kind of check that everything's kind of cut through. I think that one's okay. I mean, um, this one looks like it perhaps could go through another time, another pass. It's called a pass when you put these through. And um, Sometimes I go backwards and forwards a little bit just to kind of make sure it's done its job. If you have the bigger, a, a bigger emboss uh, die cutting machine, then by all means use that. This one is just nifty for kind of grabbing and putting on a smaller space on your desk. Right, let's see how these have cut out. Um, sometimes glimmer paper needs a little bit of extra help because... It's got all that kind of like glitter and stuff on it and it doesn't always like being cut out but there we go look I'm giving that a little bit of a twiddle with my fingers and it's coming out like butter it's fabulous look at that that's pretty pretty cool isn't it oh I love these already <laughs> though it's such a great way of making embellishments once you've invested in the dies and you've got the glitter paper and the machine um, it's kind of the gift that gives on giving, isn't it? it? You're able to make as many of these as you want. Okay, I'm faffing now, but look at that. Isn't that stunning? So I've got that one. I'm just going to double check this one. This one felt like it was being a bit naughty. Didn't want to cut properly. I'm just going to double check by using my pokey tool before completely removing it from the die. I like just to check it out and it looks like everything's cut so I'm, I'm just going to poke that out and I'm wondering if three would probably be enough for this for a card because these are quite large butterflies and um, although I think May likes butterflies she doesn't need them absolutely everywhere 
So she doesn't know this, but someone at our church is uh, buying a cake or has bought a cake. And I, I made a little cake topper and I actually used some of these butterflies to make some cake toppers. If you don't know what a cake topper is, it's basically a decoration that you can kind of... I've, I've stuck toothpicks. Um, I actually cut some butterflies out in gold and then I cut the solid out of ooh, Coastal Cabana and stuck the gold butterflies onto the coastal cabana but when I did it I used hot glue and I stuck a toothpick in between so that um, it can be placed onto on top of a cake. It's just a quick and easy way of decorating a shop bought cake um, to make it a bit more festive or celebratory, that's the word, not festive because it's a birthday not a not a celebration. Uh, sorry, not a a festival. Although Mabel would probably enjoy a festival in her name, knowing her, um, she would uh, yeah probably enjoy it, it, it organising something like that. But there we go. So anyway, I think I might just do this off screen because this is slightly boring, and I'll come back to you, and I'll tidy this up a bit. Pop this over somewhere else. Where it can be seen and not heard and in my way <laughs> and I'll scoop these up so these butterfly dies are just so beautifully detailed that they, they do make for a very easy pretty card okay I'm back so I'm going to use soft sea foam and purposes and maybe a bit of smoky slate to create a really nice kind of uh, fresh kind of background and then I've got some fresh freesia and highland heather as well. Now I've never combined these two stamps before, this one is fairly new granted but I, I thought I quite like the idea of doing some little whimsical garden bird houses in the background and I think May would quite like that. She's she's quite a whimsical person. Oh, I've already got this one out. So I'm going to just stamp a design pretty much across the page because I'm thinking of making a large card. So for me, a large card is basically the standard size card stock cut in half or sorry, folded in half and, and decorated. So um, this is a four. This is the size we use in the UK. So let's get stamping, guys. So shall I say hello to a few people who I think might be on the live? Or do you think that might mean that I might miss somebody out and then they'll go, oh no, my name was got missed out. So I don't know. Maybe I should just make up names and, you know, hopefully it will, you know, it will connect with somebody. Like I could make up, I could use fictitious names from you know, films or fairy tales like, uh, hello Cinderella, hello Esmeralda, hello Snow White. You know, you can just choose who you want to identify it with. You know, what heroine? Hello Catwoman, Wonder Woman. Oh, that's all of you. Uh, <laughs> Batman, in case, you know, I've got some guys watching. Uh, who else? <laughs> oh, this is great fun. Yeah, let's just make up some various characters you know might have a few supergirls out there and and so on so there we go some green splodges some very artistic green splodges there in the background and i'm wondering about doing some cute fresh freesia bursts of color now these don't necessarily have to be flowers but they can be Let's just see what they look like. Just put them in various spots. There we go. Now I stamped that there and I went over, so I'm just going to swivel that round to do second generation over here so I don't get that line. Oh, I like it. Now I've got to remember not to overdo it because I want to have room for my bird houses so these are totally adorable little bird houses 
card. I'm thinking just to save myself a bit of time. I might, oh, oh no, I need a bigger block. Mount them up in one go. And I'll just tuck that one there. Have that one there. I like that. I'm going to bring in a stamping mat because these are photopolymer. And although you can get a fairly good impression without a mat, it does help to put one underneath just to help with the, the transfer of the ink. So, I'll try pear pizzazz. That might mean I need to do a little bit of colouring to make these stand out, but we'll see. Let's see if I can stamp them in a way that they don't need too much colouring. So there we go. Oh, let's have a think. If there's any more fictitious characters I could welcome to my channel. My mind's gone blank. <laughs> we were watching the making of Black Widow today, so um, I could I could start, you know, welcoming perhaps celebrities to my channel. So if you've just joined and you're wondering what I'm going on about, I was just saying that I don't want to start calling out names in case I miss somebody out who's normally on the live. So if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe. I normally go live most weekdays. So right now this is the stick on which the bird houses perch, I believe. Um you can there is also a little dingle dangle i love the dingle dangles so this can either be the string that attaches to the top which we could do that could look quite sweet and whimsical couldn't it hmm okay i'm wondering whether to put the sticks on these ones and then have them hanging on that one or i think i've seen some people use this as to hang from the birdhouse for the birds to i don't know perch on or something anyway it's your use your imagination it's whatever you would like to do. So I think I'll do these here because that kind of makes sense. They're like fantasy birdhouses in the sky, you know, or no, fantasy garden. That's that's what I'm going to go with. I think for this. So now these ones. I'm wondering I could make their little strings a bit longer couldn't I by just drawing on with a pen those are so cute I like that so do one two three oh I like that right I'm gonna grab myself a pair of pizzazz pen so I've got the collection of stamp and write markers I'd held off from getting them for a very long time because I thought oh, what do I need those for but I finally got them and I managed to get the whole set half price I love it when you get a half price item so if you didn't know if you place an order with stamping up that's over 400 pounds actually get a half price item now you may be thinking oh, when am I ever gonna have a 400 pounds order well I tell you what there is a way of doing it by if you think over the course of a month you could share stamping up with some of your friends I'm gonna just try and make these lines a bit thicker and have a virtual like online party I can help you do it and you get your friends to order you know you just need 10 friends to order 40 pounds worth of product maybe you could be one of those people you order a little bit yourself well a 400 pound order would earn you um, I think about 50 pounds in free product and a half price item did you know that so if you're interested in doing that if you're thinking I love stamping up products I'd like to earn some freebies 
can get in touch because um, I could send, set up an online Facebook event for you and we could try and get there for you right so not perfect but there we go they'll be fine I wonder if to just to make them look a bit sort of not so perfect I'm just gonna just draw a couple of lines here and there just to make it look like I don't know <laughs> I don't know what I'm making it look like but just sort of not make it look so perfect so I hope this would be coloured in under here as well Now we could colour these in with a bit of soft sea foam to sort of make them stand out a little bit. Maybe not everywhere. Just um, certain areas, maybe. So this is the soft sea foam pen. So I'm not really kind of thinking about you know shading and light and dark and all that I'm just kind of picking a spot and going with it because as I said it's a fantasy kind of page it's you know whatever it's meant to be something quicky so look even here I'm going to choose a different spot to do make it very easy on myself not do anything too complicated after all it is late at night and I should have done this earlier, really. Right, I'm just going to focus on this side because I'm probably only going to use half of this. But, you know, if you wanted to colour in the rest, of course you could. Right, let's move on. So I want some pretty little bits of detail in here now. And I've got these lovely, uh, this lovely sort of branch thing happening here. And I've got some birdies. So, as I said, I'm probably going to cut this in half. So I'm trying to think about where these would look good in the composition. So I'm thinking we could have some branches coming in from the left and then some coming in from the right. So ink that up and do that. Isn't that fun? Do it from this side. We'll rotate it and stamp again. And oh, I just thought we could have some coming down from here. And some coming down from here. Hmm, not sure. I might just re ink that and have a whole new branch coming a bit lower down. splendiferous oh and then maybe we could have some branches up there just to kind of soften that top area how's about that that's sweet right i feel like we need some more color in here so and I'm going to come back to the fresh freesia and maybe dot some flowers around the place. So I'm just trying to find a clean block. Right. So I'm looking for where there's no fresh freesia already and just looking at kind of filling the gaps a little bit. I don't really want to stamp on the birdhouses. I want to give the illusion that they are kind of Yeah, I haven't got that they're in the foreground, even though they're not. Because look, I've got a bit of purple there. Never mind. Okay, just keep stamping with. Make it look pretty. Okay. Right. And then, of course, we can't go without a little bit of dotage, which I do have already cut out. And isn't that cute? I 
I think she'll like this card. She's really, she likes sort of like blossoms and things and, and trees. So I think she will like it. Of course, by the time you see this video, she will have already received it. So I'll be able to let you know what she thinks. Right. I think we're ready to cut up. So I'm going to cut half of this. So I'm actually going to cut it to 14 centimetres. See where that falls. Oh, now do I want to push it along a bit so I get a bit more of that birdhouse? So I get two there. Let's try that, see what happens. get that in at 14 centimeters with the not cutting a birdhouse I can yay okay that's good and then I'm going to cut half a centimeter off the bottom so now I need to fake it a little bit for that bottom birdhouse there but of course we can come in with our purposeized pen and just fill in that little bit there. And you can carefully add. Is that purpose as? Yes, I have got the right colour. And I think I might just colour that in with soft sea foam just to make it look a bit more solid because otherwise it just looks like it's a see through pole. Okay, so hmm, I'm trying to think what colour to stick this onto. I'm wondering whether to do it on fresh freesia. She says if she can find it. Yeah, that's fine. It's high enough of a contrast. So I'm now going to score this. For those of you who use metric, I'm going to do this at 14 and a half centimetres. And I'm just going to cut a slither off the end. I could put a happy birthday sentiment on it and I do have this really quite funky one here I'm just gonna kind of audition it and see what I think so yeah I think that would look nice and then I'm gonna bring on my little butterflies which were on my desk and now have flown away as they do. Oh no, oh dear, dropping stuff. They were underneath my ink pad. Okay. So let's have a look. These were. Yeah, I think that could work. And I think Purposaz is probably strong enough for stamping a butterfly. Sorry, not butterfly, the sentiment. Pick that up. Now, when I'm stamping a sentiment directly to a card, um, what I tend to do is make sure that the stamp the words are parallel to the top of the block because if you just go by the sticker you are asking for trouble because it could have been that you put the sticker on wrong 
so the way by doing it this way it means that if you put the block parallel to the edge of your card or the the lines on the grid paper it's going to be correct so I just tested it out to make sure and it was so because I know that it's correct I just I'm eyeballing this line here with my card and I know it'll be fine just about <laughs> maybe it's a half a millimeter out but that's not too bad I can live with that so let's get some glue and get this baby stuck together so thank you all for joining me you wonderful people all you Dr Doolittles and um, Mary Poppinses out there that have joined me for this uh, premiere if you're watching this on the replay sorry you didn't make the premiere but thank you for watching anyway and do leave a comment if you've enjoyed watching and unfortunately I haven't got a, an option for you to go which card did you prefer this time because I've just made one As sometimes that does happen so there we go so this is just a bit of an alternative kind of fantasy yeah. cute birthday card do you notice my grid paper's upside down also <laughs> oh dear never mind right this is a very little bit flimsy this butterfly now because um i, I accidentally ripped a kind of a layer off some of it it's all right it's holding together but the sooner i get it stuck down the better oh these this one's still got some little pieces that need to come out Oh, those are coming out quite easily, so that's handy. Apart from these tiny, weeny, weeny, weeny ones right here. They need a little bit of help from the good old pokey tool. I call it a pokey tool. It's not called that. It's called the take your pick tool. But again, I find that really odd. I think it should be called the pick me up tool. But that would have a whole load of other different connotations, wouldn't it? Oh, come off. That's it. Don't need you on my finger. Right. In there? Yeah, I think. Looks like he's landed on there. I mean, completely wrong ratio of sizes, but never mind. It is meant to be a fantasy card. So, there we go. Oh, and I'm wondering about a little touch of Winker Stella. Oh, sorry for nudging. Um, just to um, give my little bird houses a little bit of a glitter treat to give us a little squeeze. There we go. It's nicely winked up, and then might even do a little bit of splattering across there and of course we could also do a bit of splattering since I've got my marker pens out a bit of dotage there we go it's like the fairy godmother's been around so that was the pear pizzazz oh wrong side and then this is the soft sea fern which is a very delicate green colour there we have it all done Thank you so much for joining me guys thank you for sticking around and watching to the end please take your time to say goodbye to everybody now because i'm going to be going and hopefully see you guys again very soon have a great day morning evening wherever you are lots of love and please remember to give me a lovely thumbs up on the way out if you've enjoyed this video there we go and I'll put a link to all the, not a link, I'll put a list of all the products I've used as well in the description. So do go and check them out if you would like to purchase any of them. Take care for now. Bye.